What's up guys, Slaughter Fits back here with another video and this time we're doing another Skyrim build. This build I'm calling Werewolf Hunter build. Basically excuse to use the super cool new uh, creation club silver armor. Looks like something out of Elden Ring or something and uh, I think it might be the only helmet in the game that has a hood over it which is kind of an interesting and uh, cool look so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get into it. So for weapons, my first thought was to use uh, the silver greatsword. I, you know, I thought it made the most sense uh, going with the silver armor, and it's kind of the same kind of tone and look. Um, so yeah, I was going to do that, and then I figured out while making this uh, build that you can't upgrade silver swords. Um, I never knew that was a thing, but it's like one of the only weapons in Skyrim that you can't upgrade, which is super weird and random. Like, why? I mean, you can up. Obviously, this armor is newer, but, I mean, you can upgrade this fine. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little strange to me, but whatever. So, I chose to use Umbra instead. Umbra is a uh, sword from, I think, uh, Morrowind originally. I could be wrong, but I think as a Morrowind quest, you uh, meet someone and they tell you... I, it's been a really long time since I've done it, but you meet someone and they tell you something about, you gotta go kill this, like, Nord or something that has Umbra. Um, comment down below if you remember how the quest actually goes. I'm kind of forgetting. Um, but yeah, you basically uh, get this sword, and it might have been in Oblivion too. I'm not sure. But yeah, so they brought it back um, with the Anniversary Edition. And so when fully upgraded and with some enchantments boosting it, it has a damage of 278, which is really fucking good. Um, and it looks pretty cool. Um, it's kind of a, you know, a pretty, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. I mean, just, you can tell it's from kind of an earlier Elder Scrolls game, uh, and I like that uh, in the look of it. And uh, it comes with a pretty good enchantment. It uh, captures uh, souls and with a 20-second timer, which is a really long, uh, you know, that might be the longest I've seen. and seems a little unnecessarily long. I don't know. I've never really gotten the whole, like, dies within a certain amount of seconds. Like, well, I'm the one killing them, so, like, they're always going to die. I, I don't really get that. But, you know, within 20 seconds, that's pretty good. Um, absorbs 25 points of health and 25 points of stamina. So this is a pretty uh, pretty cold uh, sword right here. And, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty dope looking. And then for apparel, I obviously have the silver armor. So the complete set, when fully upgraded and boosted by an enchantment, has an armor rating of 675, which is pretty good. The armor itself has a rating of 294, just a little bit shy of 300. I enchanted this so alteration spells cost 28% less to cast and health regenerates 35% faster. I did alteration because for this guy I chose uh, to include some ebony flesh and fast healing just to boost him uh, a little bit more. And then the silver boots, I don't even really get, they're not silver, they're clearly like leather, they just go with the outfit, but you still upgrade them uh, with a silver ingot, so you know, the silver boots, armor rating of 119, which is pretty fucking good, um, stamina regenerates 35% faster, two handed attacks do 45% more damage, silver gauntlets, I think the silver gauntlets are pretty dope looking, um, I like the little kind of knuckle pieces. Uh, I enchanted these, so two-handed attacks do 45% more damage and increases my magicka by 70 points. Silver Helmet has an armor rating of 144. I enchanted it, so uh, magicka regenerates 70% faster and alteration spells cost 28% less to cast. Silver Necklace I enchanted, so restoration spells cost 28% less to cast. Two-handed attacks do 45% more damage. And uh, Silver Ring increases my heavy armor skill by 28 points, basically just boosting the uh, rating of my armor. And then health regenerates 35% faster. For heavy armor, I maxed out Juggernaut, so my armor rating is increased by 100%. And then I got well fitted, so a 25% armor bonus of wearing all heavy armor. Tower of Strength uh, gives you 50% less stagger. Matching set, additional 25% armor bonus if wearing a matching set. Uh, you are wearing a matching set with this build. And reflect blows, 10% chance to reflect melee damage back on an enemy. And for two-handed, you're basically going to just go ahead and max it out uh, and do the... Uh, 
great sword skill uh, tree, I guess you'd call it, or skill points. Um, I mean, you could do these other ones if you wanted to change the weapons, obviously, but if you're doing this build exactly, you just need to do the great sword perks. Um, I'm not going to go over the whole tree. I've done it a million times, and you guys already know it. And so the only other skill trees you need is restoration and uh, alteration. I went ahead and got a uh, novice and apprentice so I can do fast healing and uh, regeneration so it cures 50% more and respite so it also restores stamina. And they also did dual casting in case I'm ever, you know, in a bad spot. And uh, recovery too so my magic curry generates 50% faster. And I have some extra perks so I might as well get avoid death right now. Uh, once a day heals 250 points automatically if you fall below 10% health. And then for alteration, um, I did uh, novice all the way through expert, so you can get ebony flash. And then atronox, so you absorb 30% 30% of spells that hit you. And then uh, stability, so they last longer. Alteration spells and uh, magic uh, or magic resistance blocks 30% of the spell's effects. Um, no point in getting mage armor for this build because we're wearing armor so it wouldn't have an effect um so yeah i just want to say real quick guys that this is a really cool looking uh, armor set and build just walking through the rain just is such like a vibe right now and i think umbra actually really goes with it well um i originally was kind of disappointed i couldn't get the silver great sword to work but uh, i actually think this is a really cool looking combo What's up guys, we're here at uh, Karthspire Camp to take out some Forsworn real quick. I'm just going the long way so I can take out this fucking Frost Lady that always uh, just rains hell frost from above my entire time taking this camp every time. Um, okay, so a couple normal strikes is all it takes. See about a power attack, yep. Don't have really any soul gems on me, so I'm not gonna be collecting much of anything. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so it seems like power attacks are just about an insta kill on most people, and uh, normal attacks, Jesus, are also uh, very deadly. Oh, I forgot to do my uh, little ebony flesh and fast healing. Alright, now I have even uh, more armor. I think it's increased by 100 with ebony flesh, which is pretty fucking good. Oh, this is giving me bad animations. Come on, alright, yep. I will say, Umbra runs out really quick. Like, it's, uh. It's enchantment bar goes down like really fast after like a couple hits. I would say a lot of the creation club stuff actually goes down like especially slow, but uh, this is really fast. Back off. Dead. Yeah, see it's already done. Just after one kind of banded attack. So yeah, they're actually doing, these people are doing some decent damage on me. So, uh, you know, good armor, but not, you know, best in the world, not like really groundbreaking. But these are also high level opponents. But you know, I mean, it's Forest Warren, I guess, let me, let's be honest. They're not really that good. Next, I'm probably going to take this against some giants or something. Boom! Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go mess with some giants, and then I'll probably call it a day. Alright, we're here at Talking Stone Camp to uh, kill some giants. Test this thing out on some larger opponents, and then I'll go ahead and call it a day. Let's go ahead and recharge it real quick, and attack. So a power attack uh, does like half damage on the giant, which is pretty fucking good. Um, let's see about um, some other stuff. Is there only one giant here? Kind of surprised. Um, well, I mean, I came all the way out here. I thought there would be a couple giants and some mammoths, but it seems like there's only one single giant. You know, let's go to another camp so I can get a better fight. Oh, here's some mammoths. Okay, okay. So let's kill these mammoths and this giant down here. And then we'll call it uh, good on this build. 
Yeah, can take out giants like it's nothing. Let's see what we're doing next. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mammoths have a fuck ton of health, but you can see I'm actually still pretty quickly taking it out. Who the fuck are these guys? Are these bandits? Uh, what? What? Y'all want some? Come on. Oh, yeah? Bro, these, these guys messed up coming after me. I don't know who sent y'all, but y'all are finna get fucked up. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? And this guy has a giant's club? What the hell is happening? Bro, you are not going nowhere. He had a whole... What the... What the fuck? Hey, get back here. Not going nowhere. Bro, why are they running, bro? What is happening? These bandits just came out of nowhere and then are, like, running away now? This mud crab is joining him? Alright, bro, I actually don't know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and call it good um, and end the video here. Let me know what you think of this build down below in the comments. I think it is uh, a really cool looking armor set. I don't know if y'all will catch the reference, but um, is it just me or does the armor kind of look like Anakin's armor? At least from behind, look like Anakin's armor from Clone Wars with like the blue and I don't know. Something about it kind of reminds me of that. But uh, yeah, so um, let me know what you think of the build down below in the comments. Comment below if you want to see any sort of specific builds or videos in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.